be here today. Um, this means so much to Oklahoma, and any time an investment is made in Oklahoma, it, it benefits the citizens here, the state of Oklahoma, and the National Guard is such an important part of our history and our security. And we want to thank the men and women that serve every day for protecting us and for stepping up. You know? Well, thank you for having me today. It's an exciting day, uh, especially in the 16th District, the House of Representatives in Oklahoma. I'm proud to serve in this area, uh, lifelong citizen of the Oklahoma area. But today I want to I want to thank the Guard and uh, all the men and women who have served with us. You know, one thing that a lot of us citizens, you know, I served in the Marine Corps for a short period of time, but one thing I want to get across to citizens today is that less than 1% of the citizens of the United States of America are willing to sign a check payable upon their death to the citizens of the United States of America. And these men and women, that's what they did whenever they signed up to be a part of the U.S. military and the National Guard. Most importantly, it's, it's, it's really critical that we remember that every day since 9-11, the National Guard has had men and women deployed around the world, overseas, every day since that day. And so I want to thank you for your service and you deserve the best facilities and the best tools to do your job serving the people of the United States of America and serving the citizens of Oklahoma. 2014, whenever I was first elected uh, to the Oklahoma State Senate, one of my first meetings that I had was in this building uh, with Colonel Willow, now General Willow, and uh, we became not only friends that day, begin to talk about what we could do at the legislature for the Guard. And so from 2014 until today, uh, this has been on our radar, this has been our mission, and uh, we are finally here and ready to update this great facility. Uh, my first year, as you may remember, uh, we had a uh, budget, budget shortfall of about 800 million, got a little better, maybe 600 million, went to 1.3 billion, that's why General Thompson was Commissioner of Public Safety at that time. Uh, we were cutting his budget as well, and now tagged for the state of Oklahoma. Good to have you here today, General Thompson. Uh, and then about two years ago, I became chair of appropriations uh, in the Senate. And I said, I'm kind of in a position that I think we might be able to move a few things forward. And uh, that was great. Oklahoma was next on the list. And so working then with uh, General Willem and then with General Wright, uh, we were able to put money back into facilities, not only for this one in Oklahoma, but other facilities across the state. And uh, one of the reasons is because at the legislature, we believe in the mission of the Guard. We believe in our local communities in the mission of the Guard. And what happens in Omogi, if you have ice storms, you have anything that's going on, the Guard is here and they're working. I'm glad that they're a part of Omogi. I'm glad that today we begin the process of maybe a year and a half or two years before we came back or we come back for a ribbon cutting but today says that we believe in the future of the Guard in Omogi, Oklahoma. And as a state, we're willing to do the federal match, put the money into this facility, because we believe not only in the Guard, but we believe in Omogi. And I'm honored to be here today. Thank you very much. Thank you. And it's an honor to be here today to represent the Secretary of the Army. Um, it's especially um, a great experience for me as I was a Guardsman in this unit. Um, I, my recruiter picked me up in the parking lot just outside of here, and took me at MEPS and took my ASVAB, and then I did lots of my drills and information. My platoon was right there. Um, that was 30 years ago, almost, um, 28 years ago, and this facility looks about the same, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm so excited to see the investments that our state and our nation are making in our guards. Um, I, this guard has a special place in my heart. I want to be the person I am today, have the family I have today, the career I have today without that foundation. Um, in the Oklahoma Army National Guard. It did change my life and it changes the lives of so many others. Um, we didn't have the tuition uh, waiver when I was in the Guard, but I was able to get my student loan reimbursement and that drill pay and simultaneous membership through ROTC. 
and then seeing the additional benefits that the state has uh, provided so that we can have better benefits for our guardsmen. But in a facility like this, I remember it was, of course, where we had drill, but it also was a place for our community to gather, for families to come um, when their soldiers were being deployed, when they were coming back. It was an epicenter of community activity and resources. And to have a facility like this still on Gun Club Road, just outside our town, is truly impactful and so i really appreciate the work that you did to get to this point and thank you to our state legislators for making sure that the funding is available and the leadership of our guard is absolutely exceptional here in the state and we couldn't be in a better position and what's truly unique about the guard is that it's community members helping community members and that the guardsmen are of their community are here to help and not only provide the assistance personally but the baseball fields and parking lots, moving uh, buildings, providing other community resources that you really don't hear so much about, but you can see uh, they're just about any community you pass through in Oklahoma. And then having the greater mission of defending our country and being willing to serve and call up at our nation's call. It's truly an extraordinary um, organization to be a part of and appreciate all of you for your support of the Guard going forward. This army here has uh, been overdue for a facelift for a long time. And uh, before I go any further, we talk about uh, community support and we talk about legislative support, but the people that are around me on a regular basis get tired of me saying it, but in life, uh, it's, a modern, it's a core belief of mine that it's important what you say and what's important is what you do. And Senator Thompson, what you've done is made a commitment to Oklahoma and Oklahoma National Guard by getting the, acquiring the funding that's going to allow us to have a facility that generations of Oklahoma are going to enjoy. So I would really like to give the Senator a round of applause. For that. I'll be very brief and uh, represent the Fed Getter. Um, try hard not to mess that name up. So I can only imagine. <laughs> and uh, the cost of it, you guys who don't know it, uh, what Ms. Castilia position that she has. We have three in the state of Oklahoma. So when she was here, she's even sitting in a military manner, her posture direct, so we've had a long lasting effect on her. But when she left here, I believe you're like an e board, and when you come back, you are the equivalent of a three-star general. So that's what a cost of is in Oklahoma. So let's give her a round of applause. So I'll, I'll yield, I'll give this microphone back, but I just want to say very briefly that if you look around the state of Oklahoma, you'll see all these large uh, Armed Forces Reserve Center, and they're huge, they're immense structures, and we share that space with the Marine Corps, the Army Reserve, or whoever that may be. Uh, but the thing that we gave up is this connection with the, our local communities. And for someone like me, I grew up in Shawnee Armory, uh, the people of Shawnee knew without a fact that that army and those soldiers were a part of their community. And these structures, as modest as they may be, are the cornerstone of our connection with the local community. So to have the ability to redo this facility, and in 18 months, I don't even think you're going to recognize this place. It's going to be phenomenal. We've done this before across other parts of the state. It's a really uh, something we're very proud of. So for all of you who are here uh, for this event, thank you for supporting the Guard. Uh, thank you for being here. I wish you all the best. God bless you. All right. Not everybody did hear this, the blue lines are the studs, so unless you want to get a good job, <laughs> hit it right on the studs. Uh -huh. so is it overhead or however you want to do it? It's all about hips. Give it a whack. There you right. go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Uh, here we go. Now watch what you're swinging at over here. Yeah. Yeah. The back swing's rough. Fucking take out. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Golf swing.